on the set of axes below triangle ABC is graphed with coordinates a negative 2 comma negative 1, b3 comma negative 1, and c negative 2 comma negative 4. Triangle QRS, the image of triangle ABC, is graphed with coordinates q negative 5 comma 2, r negative 5 comma 7, and s negative a comma 2. Describe a sequence of transformations that would map ABC onto QRS. Okay, so it looks like there's definitely a rotation that took place. And uh, let's see how we can do this. If I were to, uh, and it looks like there's going to be a rotation of something by, um, by 90 degrees. So I will rotate the triangle over this point by 90 degrees so that it will land and look like this. So let me see here, QR 245, 245, yes. So it's going to look something like that. So Q prime, R prime, and S prime. And after I perform the rotation over uh, that point, I am going to perform a reflection. So QRS, uh, actually no, I misdrew it. So this should be it should look like this. That is S prime and this is R prime. And then when we reflect it, then everything will map out. All right. So, uh, what is the, what is the, um, transformation then? We're going to perform a rotation. So we're going to rotate, uh, negative 90 degrees over the coordinate of negative four comma zero. And followed by uh, a reflection over the x-axis. So reflecting over y equal to 0 of triangle ABC. Now this is not the only way to do this. Certainly there are other ways. This is just my approach. Uh, could you have done this uh, differently? Yes. And... Would the results have been the same? Absolutely. Could you have rotated it uh, not over negative 4 comma 0? Absolutely. If you rotated it over the origin, let's say, right, where would it have ended up? I'm going to use a different color for this. So if you rotated it over the origin, let's say, because you're not comfortable rotating it over negative 4 comma 0, uh, the rotation would have landed QRS over here. So let's see. Uh, Q, um, we went 2, 4, 5, 5 to the left and 2 up. So that means we're going to go 2 over and 5 up, right? So this is where Q is supposed to end up. And once I know that, I can pretty much just draw that out going by that pattern. Okay, so I have Q, S prime, and R prime. So this is an alternative. We could have, you could have um, rotated the triangle QRS over the origin, and then afterwards, so I'm going to write it over here then. So alternatively, you could have rotated over the origin, negative 90 degrees. And if you don't specify a coordinate, it's by default over the origin. And then from there, uh, you will need to perform uh, another, you will need to perform a reflection. So if we reflected this, let's see here. If we reflected this, two, four, six. So if we reflected it over, let's say, uh, y equals to two, then the result is we are going to land over here and then we're gonna to have to perform a translation boy that would be more complex okay so we're gonna reflect over y equals to 2 and then the last transformation is we're gonna translate so the last the, the last rigid motion is going to we're going to translate uh, four units to the left 
So I want to write it all out again. So this is an alternative. Y equals to 2 and negative 90 degrees. So this is an alternative way of doing it. Let's say if you didn't if you didn't feel comfortable rotating something over the origin. I mean not origin, over some other point. This is an alternative. Okay. 